Well, Utah is pioneering a new approach to total knee replacement. Now, most surgeons have been using the same technique since the 1980s. But as Heather Simonson explains in our Insight Report, some doctors are now using robots inside the OR. <laughs> Successful businessman Wayne Ballou has an easy laugh, but walking it hurts down the side here. is anything but easy. His problem started back in his college days at BYU. I played a lot of sports and got hurt a lot. My right knee is bowed out, and the cartilages, there's, they're, they've pretty much deteriorated, and I'm bone on bone on both knees. Wayne put off surgery as long as he could. You don't have a choice. You're either going to be taking just a little short jaunts or, or not getting around at all. Come on over. He chose the FDA-approved method, where a surgeon uses a robotic arm to assist him in the operating room. Early studies show the robot improves alignment and is more accurate and consistent than traditional methods. The surgeon, Dr. Joshua Hickman, says it will improve his life. Give him correct alignment, um, allow him to function at a higher level. To prepare for the surgery, doctors use a CT scan to get a 3D image. They make it into a model and create their plan. Then they upload the information to the robot. <laughs> the surgery takes about an hour. Wayne is prepped and ready to go. Let's go inside. The CAT scan has been downloaded into its brain and it's created this three-dimensional assessment of the knee. We need to verify that and that's what the, the probe is doing. The robot allows surgeons to make last-minute adjustments inside the OR. We've never been able to change in the middle of the case change what we need to do to fit that particular patient and then be able to, to perform that accurately. Dr. Hickman guides the robotic arm, shaving off bone to prepare for the prosthetic. They place trial prosthetics to make sure they have the right fit. I'll change the angle of the cut. Mm -hmm. I will take more bone in, in some areas. Then his new knee goes in. It feels pretty good. The following morning, Wayne is up walking around and already dreaming of what he'll do. Nice to shoot some hoops around. He also hopes to hike and bike without pain and walk with a normal gait. New and improved Wayne? Yes. The robotic knee will likely be released to a broader market this spring. Researchers don't yet know if it improves function and longevity, but poor alignment during surgery can lead to early wear and tear. For Wayne, freedom right out the door. Freedom. Freedom and a new life. In Bountiful, Heather Simonson, KSL 5 News. Wow. Dr. Hickman says more surgeons are using robotics in their OR to increase precision and accuracy. Lakeview Hospital is one of 10 locations in the country performing this surgery and the only one performing it in the Intermountain West.